Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Snagit video, I'm a big fan of Snagit. I'm going to show you the difference between a scrolling capture and a panoramic capture. So you can do this with any window. I have my website pulled up. If you notice, over here to the right is the scroll bar. So if I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, my home page has a lot of stuff on it. So if I want to do a screenshot, most screen capture programs would make you have to do several screenshots and then put them all together. So let's go pop into Snagit. Let's see what we can do here. Here's Capture. I'm in the Snagit editor. Here's the Capture window. 95% of the time I'm on the word region. I'm going to do Scrolling window first, and then I'm going to come back with the Panoramic. So I've got it set for scrolling window and I have under capture, my hotkey is print screen. So here we go. I'm on the web page that I want to capture. I'm going to press print screen on the keyboard. Do you see the arrows pointing around the screen? If you notice, there's one at the bottom. So I went to the top of the web page first. Here is the icon. It says, Capture vertical scrolling area. I'm going to click it once and watch hands off. It's doing all the work. When it's done, it will throw it into the Snagit editor. And here it is. I could share it over here on the right. Many options to share it. I could also just do a file, save as if I wanted to, and name it whatever I wanted to. So there is, that was scrolling. So now let's take a look at panoramic. Before I look at panoramic, let me point out one item on the scrolling here. That works. If you notice when I do a scrolling window, it captures the entire web page, which includes over here to the right hand side, I've got all this white space over here on the left. I got all this white space. So let's say I don't want all that white space because right now I would have to do some cropping. So let's go and change the capture from scrolling window to panoramic. Again, print screen is the hotkey. That won't change for me. I'm going to go to the web page. I'm going to get where I need to be, which is the top. Now print screen will do a panoramic capture. Watch this. I actually am going to have to do something this time instead of just clicking the arrow at the bottom, which scrolled down vertically. I need to show Snagit where I want to capture as far as I'm just lining up right here. That looks pretty close. Pull, go ahead and pull this down. I'm going to let go of the mouse and it says click start to begin panoramic capture and there's also an X next to it. Here we go. Start. I'm going to scroll. I've got my mouse. I'm scrolling with my mouse down the page. I could stop anywhere I want to because instead of start it now says stop. So we did a scrolling capture and we came back with a panoramic, panoramic capture. Let me pop this up a little bit higher on the resolution. There you go. So here is panoramic, no white on the sides. Here is scrolling, capturing the white, the gray, the red. Scrolling versus panoramic. Two cool features though. From Snagit, I'm in Snagit 2021. My affiliate link is down below for Snagit if you're interested in Snagit. 49 bucks, you own it for life, and you can put it on two machines. You can put it on a PC and a Mac if you want to. I love Snagit. Have a great day. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Any questions about Snagit, let me know. Thank you.